okay today we will be discussing about the c4 cycle uh, from my notes so it gets easier i have not have to write the whole thing down again so basically this is the c4 cycle we are going to talk about and it was first detailed by hatch and slack hatch and slack part so it is also called as hatch and slack pathway is also known as cooperative photosynthesis because the pathway will occur with the two cells that is the bundle cells and the mesophyll cells it's also called as a dicarboxylic acid cycle because the pathway the intermediates the products which are found here they are organic compounds which comprise of two or carboxylic groups so also known as dicarboxylic cycle so this pathway is seen in 18 families of angiosperms 1500 species of angiosperms will show this pathway this now the examples in the these are the important examples of the c4 pathway then the abbreviation to remember this is maps m for maize a for amaranthus b for penicillium and s for sorghum sugarcane now the c4 pathway is a special leaf anatomy called cracks anatomy this is called cras anatomy as it is arranged in a crown like structure these are the xylem this is the phloem and these are the bundle sheet cells around it and these are the mesophyll cells around them these are arranged in a crown like structure and uh, as this both undergo as the the undergo function like cooperative leaf so it's also called as cooperative photosynthesis you can see the notes here and the, the main differences between mesophyll cells and the bundle sheet cells is a granular chloroplast are present that is the 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 thylakoid the thylakoids uh, pile up to form grana here you may see the thylakoids grana up to form the thyla and you may all, you may know that the apressed regions where photosystem 1 is present and in the non apressed in the apressed region photosystem 2 is present and in the non apressed region photosystem 1 is present and these are the a granular chloroplast in the bundle sheet cells a granular chloroplast are present here they do not thylakoid membrane do not pile up to form ps1 right so here uh, the do not uh, do not pile up to form the grana so here uh, as only ps1 is present only cyclic Uh, electron transport is possible here whereas here as uh, ps1 and ps2 both are seen non cyclic eds and cyclic eds both are seen now as in non cyclic eds the two h hydro uh, the two water molecules will release for electrons for protons and one o2 uh, when oxygen molecule is released because uh, non cyclic uh, eds is possible here this uh, reaction is possible here whereas here only cyclic eds is seen therefore this water formation is the water breakdown is absent rubisco is absent here so the starch is also absent as rubisco from rubisco starch is from uh, by Yeah, and here as the rubisco is present, starch is also formed here. Now, carboxylase enzyme is a carbon fixing enzyme. You may uh, uh, here is uh, pepco. Here uh, pepco is uh, absent. You may know pepco is a phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase enzyme, which is a much stronger ca carbon oxygen ex carbon oxid uh, carbon fixing enzyme than rubisco. Now uh, these are some characteristics of bundle sheet cells of the C4 plant. That these are the large size, thick wall, intercellular spaces that are absent here. So, uh, these are impervious to glass. So, these uh, as these have thick wall, therefore impervious to gases exchange. These are several layers of bundle sheet cells may present. In the previous this diagram which I have shown, uh, I have shown only one bundle sheet cell, but it's not. Uh, like only one are present. There are number of uh, several layers of this bundle sheet cells are present. There are large number of chloroplasts are present, and the size of chloroplasts is uh, gradually this uh, chloroplasts are larger than that found in mesophyll cells. And now, let's see the structure over here. This is the mesophyll cell, and this is the base. Uh, this is the bundle sheet cell, right? Now let's. Start. Now the CO2 is absorbed from the atmosphere by the mesophyll cells by through stomata, and this uh, CO2 will combine with water and form HCO3 minus, that is the carbonic acid, which will react with PEP, that is uh, phosphoenol pyruvate, which is a three carbon compound, and form a four carbon acid, that is oxaloacetic acid, and this is the PEP case, uh, which is. Uh, with the help of uh, the enzyme pep case and uh, this uh, process is called as uh, fixation carbon fixation and now the oxaloacetic acid with undergo reduction in the presence of enzyme mdh that is ma that is uh, malate dehydrogenase enzyme and form malic acid which is a c4 acid and then we send go reduction in reduction nadph will convert it into nadp plus right and then this malic acid is transported this is a c4 acid is transported to the the bundle sheet cell you may see this is the transported to the malic acid is transported in the bundle sheet cell where it undergoes decarboxylation and even dehydrogenation by decarboxylation once co2 is removed 
when CO2 is uh, uh, evolved and then uh, dehydrogenation that is uh, dehydrogenation occurs and the which hydrogen is evolved here uh, is uh, removed here is accepted by NADP plus and it gets converted into NADPH this is promoted in the malic enzyme uh, by the help of malic enzyme and uh, therefore as this is a C4 acid and by decarboxylation one CO2 is evolved that is one carbon is taken out from here therefore the C4 becomes the C3 acid that is the pyruvic acid now the CO2 enzyme evolved here this is the second CO2 evolved first it was here Car, uh, CO2 fixation was here and here CO2 is evolved and here again fixation will take place that is the second fixation will take place this is accepted by Rubisco Rubisco and uh, Rubisco will make it perform the C3 cycle the C3 cycle undergo you must study with C3 cycle I am talking about the C4 cycle therefore the C4 pathway and this uh, and uh, by the C3 cycle it converts into sugar and then uh, that's the important point to notice that uh, whether it's a C3 pathway or C4 pathway or the CAMP pathway always C3 cycle will take place for the formation of sugar therefore C3 cycle is universal in all plants and uh, the malic acid will go to decarboxylation and then it will form C3 acid that is a carbon uh, 3 compound acid that is the pyruvic acid and this pyruvic acid is then transported into the mesophyll cells see the mesophyll cells this one is a mesophyll cell. it gets transported over here and then pyruvic acid is then regenerated into PEP that is phosphoenol pyruvate so hence this completes the C4 cycle and the pyruvic acid is uh, and then uh, here f uh, by the uh, it is done by the enzyme phosphopyruvic dikinase phosphopyruvic dikinase and then uh, this is a C3 acid and here it is a phosphoenol pyruvate you know the word phospho is here so for the phosphate is provided by ATP and then uh, ATP converts into AMP. Here mostly two, A2 ATP molecules are used here as uh, two phosphates are lost here that is ATP. This adenosine triphosphate and this adenosine monophosphate. Therefore two phosphates are lost here which gets combined to this reaction and, and it forms phosphate and all pyruvate. Uh, yeah. And the phosphopyruvic uh, pyruvic dikinase enzyme this is uh, sensitive to low temperature. Okay. And let's talk about the energy requirement. Therefore, one CO2 fixation will require two ATP that we have seen over here. Yeah, the two ATP we used over here, we have just talked about, and three from the C3 cycle, which has uh, C3 cycle, and therefore the a total of five ATP are used for one carbon one carbon dioxide fixation. And the NADP user and NADPH used are two here. That is the, the C3 cycle. You know, this is not this NADP. H like one AD, NADPH is converted into NADP plus and again NADP plus here is converted into NADPH so net gain here is zero but uh, this NADPH is coming from the C3 cycle for these are two and then for first for, for one glucose molecule formation therefore it consists of uh, C6 uh, C6 H2LO6 that is C carbon 6 so 6 carbon so 6 CO2 fixation this is one carbon so 6 carbon will form gradually as a 6 carbon compound so 6 CO2 fixation will require 30 ATP and 12 NADPH when it is composed uh, when it is compared to C3 cycle the uh, one glucose formation requires only 18 ATP and 12 NADPH. Therefore, this is the same here. NADPH requirement is same here, but uh, C4 cycle uses almost how many? 12 ATP more than the C3 cycle. And then the significance of the C4 uh, pathway. And the one more point to notice is that C4 pathway is evolved pathway than C3 pathway. And the C the significant of uh, C4 pathway is ability to tolerate high temperature stress. It can tolerate high temperature stress. It can tolerate when compared to C3 cycle. And then photophosphorylation is an, is absent over here, which is a wasteful process. And it can tolerate CO2 stress. Then it can tolerate water stress. And and it can also tolerate salt stress. Yeah. Thank you.